So we're making a, a vase today. And that starts off with a hot gather of glass out of the furnace. Uh, here I'm marvering, which is rolling on this metal table. Now we're going to drop some color on to give it a different color than just clear. It'll be a transparent orange. It's important to even out the color once you put it on so you can roll it out evenly. Um, heating is a big part of this process to get it just right to be even. You don't want the clear bubble to move underneath, but you want the color to go back over to the top. And that's done by heating and rolling. Here I'm going to even the back out with the back of the tools, um, which are the jacks. From there, um, once it's even, we'll take another gather. And, and this part is actually my second gather. Because I want it to be a decent size, not too big. The block helps even out and smooth the glass. Um, which is important for clean glass and even. So everything blows out good. Uh, I want it to fit into an optic mold. Um, that I'm blowing into here. Uh, it was still a little bit too big for the optic mold. But I still got the texture that I was looking for. After I like the shape, I will go for the transfer, which my partner is bringing over. Uh, a little bit of water will help break the neck and give us a clean cut to be open. As you can see here, I'm adding the water and I'll knock that off and go for a quick heat. Now it's just about opening the form to its final shape which I'm doing here I'm having my partner paddle the lip so it can be nice and even on top I'm going to give it mm, a slight flare but not too much I want it to be a nice flower vase and from there when I'm happy with the shape we're ready to knock off and put away in the annealing oven and my partner is going to torch the bottom so that um, we don't have any cold working to do